Stella's tasty adventure, the little star who wanted to taste the clouds. In a faraway corner of the night sky, there lived a tiny star named Stella. She was the smallest and brightest star in her cluster, always twinkling with curiosity. Every night, as she twinkled in the sky, Stella would gaze down at Earth and wonder about all the beautiful things she saw, especially the soft, fluffy clouds that floated below. I wonder what clouds taste like, Stella thought to herself one evening. They look so light and sweet, like cotton candy. The more she thought about it, the more Stella's curiosity grew. Finally, she made up her mind. I'm going to find out what clouds taste like. Stella knew it wouldn't be easy to leave the night sky, but her determination shone brighter than ever. With a little wiggle and a big leap, she twinkled her way down through the atmosphere, gently drifting closer and closer to Earth. As Stella approached the first cloud, she marveled at its softness. It was like a giant fluffy pillow floating in the sky. She took a tiny nibble, expecting a sweet, sugary taste. But to her surprise, the cloud didn't taste like anything at all. It was cool and refreshing, like a sip of fresh water on a hot day. Hmm, Stella said, a bit puzzled. Maybe not all clouds taste the same. I'll have to try another one. So, Stella drifted down to another cloud, this one tinged with pink and orange from the setting sun. It looked even more delicious than the first. Like a scoop of strawberry ice cream. Stella took another bite. But again, the cloud only tasted of cool mist. It wasn't what she had imagined, but it was still refreshing. Determined to find the perfect cloud, Stella continued her journey through the sky. She tried a big, puffy cumulus cloud that looked like a giant marshmallow, but it was just as tasteless as the others. She nibbled on a wispy cirrus cloud that resembled a spun sugar thread, but it too had no flavor. As night fell and the stars began to twinkle once more, Stella realized that she had traveled far from her home in the sky. She felt a little tired, but she wasn't disappointed. Even though the clouds didn't taste like candy, she had discovered something even more special. They may not taste sweet, Stella thought, but clouds are so soft and cool. They're like little pieces of the sky that float around, keeping the earth company. Satisfied with her adventure, Stella decided it was time to return to her place in the night sky. She wiggled her way back up, twinkling brighter with every move. When she finally reached her spot among the stars, she felt happy and proud of her journey. The other stars noticed Stella's extra bright glow and gathered around her, eager to hear about her adventure. As she told them about her quest to taste the clouds, they listened with wonder and admiration. You're so brave, Stella, one star said. We never would have thought to taste the clouds. Yes. Another added, and now we know that while clouds may not be sweet, they are still very special.
special. From that night on, Stella twinkled more brightly than ever, knowing that her curiosity had led her on a wonderful adventure. And every time she looked down at the earth, she smiled, remembering the cool, soft touch of the clouds that she had come to love. And so, Stella continued to shine in the night sky. Content with her newfound knowledge and the joy of discovery.